right on my desk here. That's a 55 inch screen and this is a 60 inch screen and it looks so good. It's just on a wall. Me eating pizza. I literally had a movie night watching this whole entire movie. This is a whole TV setup. This is a computer, an Android player, movies, games, everything in this little box. How's it going YouTube? Right in front of me, this is the X Give Me Android TV projector and this is the MoGo. So I have reviewed the first one, which was the X Give Me H2 and I absolutely love that and I still have it in the background. I might be showing you some clips right now of that video that I did and now I'm back with the second round but a much smaller portable system here. So we're gonna unbox this. Okay, and as you can see this MoGo has Android TV built in. So it has all the Google features like Google Assistant, the 4000 native apps in Chrome Chromecast built in so you can cast anything from your iPhone, Android, Windows devices to this Chromecast. And I have to say one of the best features about this Mogo projector, it is portable like I was saying, but it has 10,400 milliamp hour battery so you can run this with no power outlet, no connection needed. So it has autofocus, it'll do its own focusing and it has a 100 inch screen capacity. I have a 92 inch screen behind me that I'll be putting it on and we'll be testing it out. So let's see what we get in the box. Tiny little fella. As always, try to register and activate your ex give me warranty so you get all the benefits from it a wrapped up manual and then look at this little bugger and here's the mogo my hand seems to be taller than it but it does have a really good weight it's not super light like you would expect maybe something like this so it does have a good quality feel and again you got the aluminum and some plastics you got some rubber and some threading for mounting or tripods and on the back you can see the speaker system is by Harman Kardon so this is a power button I'm gonna press it here in a little bit there's audio HDMI USB and the power connection for outlets but all around it you can see let me see if I can see through it in an angle if I can get it to no, I can't really see inside of it. So here's an iPhone 10. It is almost the size of it. It's not the plus, it's the 10. So you can see how for size reference it's going to be. My Pixel 4 XL, which is recording right now, I'm using the front facing to record a side cam. The top says X Gimme. There's a volume, play, pause, and volume. So there's going to be LED there and it's going to be touch sensitive. I'm going to take this peeled off. The front has a protection film. Obviously, we remove that. Nice, clean finish. This whole entire thing is something that I want to say Apple would make because of the quality, the feel, the look. This is such a nice looking design here. I appreciate it. This second box is the power source, the remote controller. You can see the power, there's the menu, the Google Assistant button dedicated. There's back, that actually might be the source. There's the reverse or back button, the home and volume up and also adjusting the focus manually. Now the center is okay selection and then you got your dial pad. Now this is the bottom part where you can go to the volume control. So once it's on volume, you can turn the volume up and down. If you switch it over to the right side, which is the focus, then you can focus it on yourself. I do have to say that there's no batteries included. I do have an extra box here where you get lots of different plugins. International, so I can take this anywhere. This is US standard. Now I'm not sure what standard this is, but obviously we got different worldwide standards that we can take this with us. I won't have to worry about how to charge it. Okay, just for quick reference, you can see the older remote that I've been using. So now I'm gonna be pressing the power button right here. Look at that little screen. Now this is not how I'm gonna show you my video, but you can see that it's projecting. But we can see it just perfectly fine there. And look at that. This is just a screen and it looks good from this angle right away. And I'm gonna project it onto my screen here. Up there, this is the old X Gimme that I've been using, and I say old because it's my first one. Okay, so I'm gonna attach this monopod. Hey Google, turn off top lights. Sure, turning top lights off. And go to Keystone Correction. So I'm gonna fix it here to my 92 inch projection. Now I'm going to let it focus on its own. We can see that it's working and it found the best focus. Or I could manually focus it myself in case it wasn't sharp enough. As I walk up to it, you can see that it is pretty big. No, it's wrong. We're gonna need to start again, guys. Oh no. It's an Android TV system that you're gonna have as a projector. Go to the Google Play Store and you get lots of apps to choose from, even games that you can download. I could literally do more on this little system than my bigger 
projector on top. All right, so let's go to the settings and look at uh, device preferences. Let's go to about. So we're gonna go to the, it's on Android 9 version, Android security patch level, kernel, the build system, the temperature, 48 degrees right now at this moment. This is a 12 gigabyte storage and we have 10 gigabytes to use, free movies to watch, play movies, everything is navigated through the remote. The worst toy maker in the world. I'm a cotton-headed ninny muggins. <sighs> Uh, you're not a cotton headed mini muggins. You can play it off of a wall. That's just light going onto my wall. And let me go back into the home, and you can see that it'll actually focus every time you move the projector. So it'll know to refocus because it got further apart or whatever. So, right here in this location is a 50 inch screen that we're looking at. <laughs> The further you are, again, you're losing a lot of light. It's a tiny projector, so I'm surprised it could actually look this good at this distance. And I've tried other different ones. Right on my desk here. And you can see that I got the front-facing camera here. I'm going to start going to the video. And I'm going to press record. And you can see the camera's right over there. And then we got the projector. It's really quiet. I like that part. I think this might be like a 20-inch screen here. And it looks good, but this is really bright. I can actually turn the brightness down. Okay, I just woke up from watching the Google Pixel 4 event, and I've got some thoughts. I've got some thoughts about what we saw, so let's discuss. That's with the lights on as normally as bright as it would be in here, and I can still see it fine. It's not gonna be something that you use this as your everyday TV viewing experience. Like I said, if you're gonna go camping, or you got a night out with friends, or you just take it places that you can literally just present things for homework, for studies, for business, work, whatever. You can take this with you. You don't need to be connected to a power source. Okay, as you can see, I have it plugged in, powered, but I could always unplug. And it's still gonna keep playing because there's battery in there. Now I am gonna do the touch sensitive here. So you got a touch here for the volume and you can see reaction that is sensing and play and pause things if you're playing videos, if it's right next to you, if you don't have the remote. I'm gonna be quiet so you can hear this. And that's what this camera is doing, is looking at the focus point. And the heat is definitely coming out of this little back slot there. If you cover it, it's gonna wanna overheat, so make sure you have this always exposed and not covering. But yeah, that's it. It's working little projector. It's really cool. If you wanna know more specs and where to get it, find it in the description down below. I understand the projectors are niche, but they're on the rise because of the performance and the quality that they're giving you in such a small package and the image quality that you're getting. It's just gonna give you such a bigger screen than what a normal TV is doing. Like this is a whole TV setup. This is a computer, an Android player, movies, games, everything in this little box, all that kind of stuff. And you can still hook up your HDMI hookups like your PlayStation, your Xbox, and your Nintendo, other devices up to this, even your computer, you can plug into it. You can have this as a monitor, not just what the system is running in here. So that is really cool. Of course, you can go sip on this. Play new Tech 9 music. And of course, we can just press power. That is how it's gonna work. You can put a USB stick or external hard drives so you can run things off of that as well. And you could even hook up external speakers, that wired or Bluetooth. You don't have to be connected all on this, but you can do everything wirelessly as well so you can get more sound. You can really put a nice setup on this. Okay, so I have a couple pictures here that I'm gonna show you. Now this picture that we're looking at here, it is lights on in this room. It's not all the lights on, but enough lights and it's still bright enough. Now if you notice the projector is on a bed now, it is bright enough to see even in this lighting condition, which was a surprise to me. Very happy with the results. That's a 55 inch screen. And this is a 60 inch screen. And it looks so good. It's just on a wall. You can watch a full movie no problem with no power hookup. This is the one having just battery hooked up to it. As I get closer, you can see that it's going to be a little grainy because no one's sitting that close. But you can see some pixels there because it's not a full HD quality. It's a standard HD and look at the blacks look at the colors look at the brightness it is definitely capable of performing a good movie night I did take this projector into the living room of course and this is the position 
of the distance where it will be at. So just wanted to showcase how much bigger this whole display is. That's probably a good 80 inches. At 80 inches, there is the scene. And we're continuing the scene that we were watching in the bedroom into the living room. Honestly, I never knew projectors this small can actually output something this good. But that's it. That's a projector, guys. It's all coming from there. What next do we have? Oh, just a picture showing you what it looks like with lights on. And another one. Just another scene here of me eating pizza. I literally had a movie night watching this whole entire movie with the lights on on this right side. Oh, what, what else am I supposed to say? And then look at, um, this is like an actual more true to life picture. Um, looks good. So the X Gimme Mogo right now. So looking at it real quickly, there is the X Gimme. So again, clicking on the link to check out the specs yourself. More comparison between all their other product lines. I'm actually excited for the H3 that's coming out. I'm merely showcasing you what it looks like, how it performs, and what I thought. And if you want to step it up to a 1080p full HD, there is that version. So, there we go. If you want it for yourself, you already know what to do. Find it in the description down below. And as always, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Later.